Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. So we know that immigration has been a hot topic these days. We've been talking about it for the past few months. So immigration means when people leave one country to live in another country, not to just visit, but they decide to live in a new country. That's immigration. So welcome immigrants. Immigrants are the people moving from one country to a new country. So if you look at that picture, people are leaving their countries to come to another country. So maybe they're coming from Canada, Sweden, and, and Russia or France, they're coming all the way to Korea to live. So we have a lot more immigrants in Korea. And now we're going to see what this article is about. It's saying welcome means uh, come in, right? So it says contrary to the growing anti-immigrant sentiment in the US and Europe, Canada still encourages newcomers into the country. So contrary means unlike, right? So different from the growing anti-immigrant sentiment. So sentiment is a feeling or an opinion, right? So anti means against and against immigrants. So the opinions in the United States and Europe, uh, a lot of people are saying we don't want too many immigrants in our country. So contrary to that, so uh, unlike that, right? So in uh, opposite, opposite to uh, what the opinion is, growing opinion is in America and Europe, Canada still encourages, encourages means they want, right? Newcomers, so people coming new into the country, right? They welcome that. So unlike America and Europe, Canada is saying, come on in, right? Immigrants, you are welcome. It says, considered one of the world's top immigration destinations, the Great White North attracts over 250,000 people every year for the purpose of immigration. So the Great White North is the nickname for Canada because it's a huge uh, country, it's a huge continent, and it's covered in snow most of the time. So it's called the Great White North and it's located above North America. So uh, destination, one of the most uh, world's top immigration destinations. So considered it means that it's widely thought of, many people think of it as, so it's considered one of the world's top immigration destination. Destination is the place that you want to be or the, the place that you want to go. So it's one of the top places in the world for uh, people who want to live in a new country. It's one of the top places. So it says it attracted or brought in uh, over 250 people every year, right? So every year, just a little uh, half, a quarter of a million people, uh, they come to Canada for the purpose, the reason to live there. So we can see more and more lately, a lot of people are coming into Canada. Statistics Canada released a report last month on demographic shifts over the next two decades, saying immigrants will comprise 24 and a half to 30% of the Canadian population in 2036, up from 20.6% in 2011. So let's take a look at what that sentence is saying. So Statistics Canada. Statistics is talking about the studies of numbers, right? So they keep track. So Canada has their own uh, statistics bureau or a group that focuses on numbers, right? Facts. Uh, released the report. Released the report means that they shared what they found. They shared what they studied last month on demographic shifts. Demographic means the population. How many people are living where uh, and all those uh, information. Uh, that's demographic and shifts means change. Right. So over the next two decades, decade is 10 years. So over the next 20 years, their Statistics Canada, they did a study uh, and last month they shared that the population changes that they're predicting or they're saying is going to happen in the next 20 years. They showed that immigrants, people who are moving into the country, will comprise or make up 24.5 to 30% of the Canadian population. So they're saying in the next 20 years, people who have moved to Canada from different countries to live, they'll make up to 30% of Canada's population by the year 2036. So in about uh, 20 plus years, right? It's going to be 20 and a half percent more than that percent used to be in the year 2011. So six years ago, right? We had uh, much less 
uh, people who lived in Canada from other countries, immigrants, than they are predicting or saying that will happen in uh, the year 2036. So they're saying the number of people moving to Canada will continue to go up over the next 20 years. And they compare that to the year 2011. The report also predicted that about 58% of Canadian immigrants will come from Asia by 2036 up from 44.8% in 2011. So they took the findings, they took the, the numbers in 2011, and they're comparing it to what they're predicting will happen over the next 20 or so years. So they predicted, right? They said before it happened, they guessed or they said that it will probably happen, predicted that about 58% of Canadian immigrants will come from Asia. So they're saying that in the year 2036, when they look at all the immigrants who have come into Canada, they're saying that 58% uh, of all those immigrants will be from Asian countries like Korea, China, Japan, right, Thailand, Philippines, all those countries right, uh, will make up 58% of the new immigrants in Canada by the year 2036. And that is also an increase of almost 45% from the year 2011. Uh, the last sentence in that paragraph, it says, in the 1971 census, 16.1% of Canada's immigrant population came from the UK, US, and Germany. So census is when the government does, uh, they wanna check how many people are living in the country. And in the United States, they count the population of the country every 10 years. So the census that was done in 1971 in Canada, uh, they're saying that 16%, a little bit over 16%, 16.1% of Canada's immigrants, the people who moved to Canada, they came from the United Kingdom, United States, and Germany. So as you can see, compared to back in 1971, what we have in 2011, more and more people are coming from different parts of the world, especially Asia. Let's look at the last paragraph. It says, large cities such as Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver will continue to be the primary destination for immigrants with Toronto to enjoy the highest inflow of the country's immigrants at 46 to 52.8% of the total. So what this part is saying is, Canada has very large cities. So three of the largest cities, Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver, they will continue to be primary destination. So we said destination is the place that people will end up, and primary is the main. So these large cities will be the main uh, places that people will end up in for immigrants, right? And especially with Toronto enjoying the highest inflow, inflow means coming in, right? The flow of coming in of the country's immigrants at 46 to 52.8% of the total. So most of uh, the total population of immigrants will go to Toronto. The study also found that since the early 1990s, the country saw growth in the number of immigrants, a rising death toll, and low fertility rates. So the study that uh, Statistics Canada did as they studied the population of Canada in the past and going into the future predicting it, they also saw growth in the number of immigrants. So that means the number of total people coming into the country to live there from different countries has also grown as well as rising death toll. That means many more people, a lot more people are dying, the number of people, as well as low fertility rates, meaning less and less people are having babies. So more people are, are passing away as well as less people are having babies and more people of uh, different countries are coming in and that's the population of Canada. So here it says while places like America and Europe they're having a lot of uh, opinions and people feeling like immigrants are not helping their country, Canada is the opposite. Canada is welcoming people from different countries and saying come and live in our country. So this is a very interesting uh, article and it's focusing on the study that they did about their own population. Very interesting. Let's take a look at the, the, uh, the comp comprehension questions from today's article. So if you look at it, it's a signpost and it's leading to Canada, right? And it says, how many people arrive in Canada every year for immigration? So we know that it's a large number. We said that it's not quite a million less than half a million, but it's over a quarter million, which is over 250,000 people. So every year people are coming in uh, about this much. Where is the primary destination for immigrants in Canada? So we said primary is the main, destination is the place that people are going to. So where is the main place that people are going to? 
and it's the large cities such as Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. And we said that uh, Toronto is the main one. So it says, according to Statistics Canada, what percentage of the country's population will be immigrants in 2036? So we said it's constantly rising, and they're saying with the next 20 years, it will be 24.5 to 30%. So in the year 2036, they're predicting, they're saying that about 30% of all of Canada's population will be people who are not from Canada, right? So that's a large percentage. So more and more people are immigrating and moving to Canada because they're welcoming them. So let's look at the last part. Let's fill in the blanks. It says contrary, so unlike or against or opposite to the growing what sentiment in the United States and Europe, Canada still encourages newcomers into the country. So we talked about this. So if you're against or not for it, then that means you're anti, right? So you're against growing what kind of feelings, what kind of uh, opinions? It's anti-immigrant, right? So anti-immigrant or anti-immigrant sentiment. So a lot of people in the United States and Europe, right? They're not really welcoming. So they're, you can say that they have anti-immigrant sentiment. The next question says the report also blank that about 58% of Canadian immigrants will come from Asia by 2036, up from 44.8% in 2011. So the report also what? So we said it's trying to tell you what they think is going to happen. So we can say that that word is predicted, right? Or uh, they guess, right? They made a guess about what will happen before it happens. So they predicted. And the last one, the study also found that since the early 1990s, the country saw growth in the number of immigrants, a rising death toll and low something. So I said, uh, since 1990, Canada's population has been going up and down, mostly up. So they said immigrants, the number of immigrants have gone up. The death toll, people dying, passing away has gone up. And low, what has gone down? The number of what? And it's the number of people having babies. So the fertility rate has been going down as well. So this article was focusing on Canada. So Canada, unlike America and Europe, they're actually welcoming uh, immigrants, people from many different countries to live there. And they're predicting, they're guessing, and they're saying that in the future, more and more immigrants from Asia will be living in Canada. Very interesting. Maybe one day you or your friends might be immigrants of Canada. And if you go, they will be welcoming you. So I hope you enjoyed today's article and learned a lot. Until next time, I hope you do well and I will see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.